Snows Hill Manor in Gloucester is a typical Cotswold Manor house made from local stone. But what makes it so unique is the collection of art, artifacts, samurai costumes, bicycles, musical instruments, treasure boxes, and everything your imagination can concoct, all curated by one man, Charles Paget Wade. Wade was an architect, artist craftsman, collector, poet, and heir to the family fortune. He restored the property living in the small cottage called the Priest's House and used the manor house as a home for his collection of objects. Wade writes, in such surroundings, 101 trains of thought are enlivened. Thoughts of other lands, of other customs, other people, other times. Wade also wrote, Then there are the thrills of unexpected finds in unexpected places. In a small plumber shop in Cheltenham, so small its window had just room to display a glazed sink flanked by six brass taps, I found seven sets of samurai armor which had stood in a shed in the yard for 26 years. While in the army in France during the First World War, Wade saw an advertisement for the sale of Snows Hill Manor in country life. It appealed to him immediately. When he visited it in 1919, he found the house in a rundown state amid a forest of nettles and thistles. He undertook a complete restoration of the house and garden preserving as much of the old paneling and stonework as he could. Wade deliberately disregarded the use of electricity and modern conveniences, preferring the subdued and atmospheric lighting of oil lamps and candles. Wade had a profound interest in magic and alchemy. In a private room at the top of the house, known as the Witch's Garret, there was once a collection of objects connected with witchcraft, and the floor and one wall were decorated with various magical symbols. The garden at Snows Hill was laid out by Wade in collaboration with arts and crafts movement architect M. H. Bailey Scott between 1920 and 1923. Their elaborate layout resembles a series of outside rooms seen as an extension to the house. Features include terraces and ponds and the gardens demonstrate Wade's fascination with colors and scents. As well as formal beds, the gardens include an ancient dovecote, a model village, kitchen garden, orchards, and small fields with sheep. Beautiful crop of grapes, pears, apples, everything. Even a lot of windfall apples laying on the ground. I'm very tempted. 
Wade had begun his collecting at the age of seven, and by the time of his death, he had amassed over 22,000 objects. He gave the property and the contents of his collection to the National Trust in 1951. And it is a wonderful treasure that I hope you will get to visit one day.